Good evening, class. Hello, how are you today? Hello, good evening. Oh, Carlos, you are here. That's great. Also, Flor and Julio Cesar. Yes. Thank you. Okay, that's excellent. Class, in four minutes, we are going to get the study. Teacher, yes? Uh, I, in a couple of minutes, I, I driving and, and come okay. back in, in, in three minutes. Please. You are driving. Are you driving? Because we listen to the voice of your son and your wife. Pero escuchamos la voz de su esposa. Eh, yes, eh, yes, in, I, in a couple of minutes I, I, I take the, the my car and, and driving. Okay, but are you going to be in class? Pero va a estar en la clase. Yes, yes. Sí. Okay. Eh, en 30 minutos quizás termino de, de hacer lo que voy a hacer y, y me incorporo. Okay, that's okay. Thank you. Thanks for telling me. Okay. Be careful when driving. Okay. Okay. okay thank you. Okay. Good evening, class. All of you are really welcome to this session, our session number 13. Okay. Uh, Maria Isabel, welcome. Maria Leticia, welcome. Flor Morena, welcome. Carlos Ernesto, Julio Cesar, Freddy Eliseo, again, oyente. Una vez más, Freddy se incorpora como listener. So here we go. Okay, in a couple of seconds, we are going to get started. All of you are really welcome to this session, okay, for tonight. Tonight is Friday, and the traffic is a little bit chaotic. But anyways, here we are, and it is exactly the time to get started. So, class, I'm going to start sharing my PPT as every single day I do, okay? So today is March the 24th, 2023. And here I have the agenda for today. Today is our video conference number 13. The first activity as every day is greetings, our feedback, the objectives that are going to be raised by one of you. In the pre-task, we're going to be talking about emails, you know, a lot about this so it is not going to be very difficult it's going to be a piece of cake for you in the preparation task we have to tell the difference between formal and informal emails and then we have the main task uh working at pages 33 and 34 your objective is going to be to write a professional email and the wrapping up of the class and here we have the objectives, okay? So uh, class, I need a volunteer in order to help me reading the specific uh, objective, please. Only one volunteer to help the teacher reading the specific objective. Hello, 
Knock, knock. Do I have a students in this class? Okay, thank you, Evelyn. Please. Objective. A specific objective. A students will be able to write short and professional emails to co workers. Okay, now continue with the class objective, uh, Evelyn, okay. please. Okay, class objective. A students will be able to prepare, write, and articulate Art short professional emails for business purpose. purposes. Purposes. Okay, great. Thank you. So here, as I told you in the agenda, the goal is to practice with emails, but you know a lot about this. Probably you are going to teach me, okay, about this. And again, a reminder class about homeworks and evaluations, okay? I need you to get updated with your homeworks and with the exam, okay, with the midterm test. If uh, two or three people are still owing me the exam for week number two, section number two, and the activities. Because today is our class number 13, only seven more classes. Yes, solo siete classes más, and this is going to be over, and you're going to be in module four. But it depends on you, right? On your attendance and also on your performance in the learning platform. También depende de su desempeño en la plataforma de aprendizaje, correct? Now here, a reminder of the requirements. One volunteer to read the requirements in Spanish. Another participant. Me. Okay, miss, please. Requerimientos. Nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyente, agregar palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Participación activa. Thank you so much. And again, here talking about the attendance. Okay, you know, it is expected the 100%. And it is expected that you uh, need to be connected. Necesitan estar conectados los 120 minutos para que sea efectiva su asistencia y que se queden también hasta el final, no que se vayan 10 minutos antes o 5 minutos antes porque no termina esa hora la clase, ¿verdad? Pero no lo determino yo, sino que lo determina la plataforma y ahí les van contabilizando los minutos, ¿ok? The attendance is taken twice at about, about 8.20 and at about 9.40. Remember, it is valid and effective. Se convierte en efectiva y válida su asistencia cuando se escucha al participante decir presente y tener la cámara encendida. Este es el requisito que el SAFOR considera para tomar como efectiva su asistencia. And session one-on-one -on -one available at the end of each session, right? That I'm going to tell you whose turn is tonight. Permissions are not available. And here you have uh, this slide for what you have available, right? In Zoom, the microphone must be off unless you are told not to do so. The camera on. The two chats are available via WhatsApp and via Zoom the breakout rooms, also for you to participate actively. The bottom ask for help is also available in Zoom. And I always ask you this, okay? Respect above all. And here again, a reminder for the homeworks and evaluations. We are in week number three. So by March the 28th, next week, section three must be over. And I have to clap, 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 and congratulate to the students who have uh, been working very hard. And they are done with the three or four sections. And some of you are even done with the final test. So hooray for you, hooray. And now class, let's go over the feedback. 
it is the time for you to go over to the feedback. And here we go. Okay, I'm going to be addressing some questions, directly questions. And, okay, Miguel, hello, welcome. I'm so glad that you are hello, here. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, Miguel, uh, do you remember something about the activities we were working with yesterday? Um, yes. Okay. Mention one. <laughs> and everybody uh, get ready, okay? Yes. Okay. I don't remember. Oh, okay. yes, yes, I, now, yes. <laughs> okay, okay, It's tell about me. Uh, the use should, uh, should not and should. Okay, excellent. Yesterday, our target grammar focus was the use of should, should not. Should for affirmative, should not for negative. And they are used to give suggestions, yes? And, yes. but not only at work, it is for everyday activities. For example, if you are in a, in a library, okay? And then somebody tells you, you shouldn't speak here, yeah? Because it is supposed that in a library, everybody must remain in silence, yes? Because people go in order to read, to look for information, to study, to be focused on one thing, not to be talking. And also, if you are in a hospital and a doctor or a nurse tell you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't speak aloud, yeah? Because there are sick people and they need to be in silence, yeah? Okay, very yes. well. So we were working yesterday with the modal auxiliary should in affirmative and should not in negative, okay? And then here we go. This is how to use should and should not. This was the focus yesterday. And we have here some examples. The guard should answer, answer my good morning greeting. Because if you greet someone and the other person doesn't answer to you, it is not a good manner, okay? It is not a good attitude. Linda should greet with a firm handshake, handshake like this, okay? The supervisor should use a greeting in his emails. It is expected that when you write an email, the salutation, the greeting must be at the beginning. But if it is not, mm, then you say he doesn't have good manners, okay, or a good behavior. You should say please when you ask for a favor because that is a polite request. Now in the negative. Darío should not use many emojis in his emails because if it is a, a, an no, email, a professional. Uh -huh, an email at work, it tells what you are saying that it is not a professional email, right? Helen should not yes. speak so loud, yeah? That is something else that you are not supposed to shout to people, yeah? It is not a good attitude, not a good behavior. Gabriel should not tell sexist jokes. <laughs> it is seen as a, an unacceptable behavior, yeah? Yes. Your boss should not shout at you because you are in there in order to work not in order to be listening to your boss shouting at you, okay? So that is what we were working with. But here, if you remember, you had one, two, three, four cases. The first one was done for you as an example. And then you went to the breakout rooms, the case about Carl, my assistant, and Lucy. And you were providing different suggestions, okay, in order to improve their behavior, their attitudes. 
And remember, class, that yesterday we were working with the word behavior as a verb <clears throat> and as a noun, okay? So here we go. But now it is your turn. As a feedback, you are going to write three examples of good behavior and bad behavior in business meetings. Later, you're going to take role playing for short conversations, expressing suggestions about those situations, okay? For example, here, Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give orders. He never says, please. And then the other person says, Peter should ask polite request or Peter should say please when he asks for something. Now class, what are you going to do? You are going to write three examples of good behavior at work and three examples of wrong, bad behavior at work, yeah? So you are going to write to create as a group six sentences. Three representing good behavior and three representing bad behavior. Something that is not good. Okay, something that is not uh, acceptable at work. Some attitudes that are not so good. When you finish writing the three sentences related to good behavior and three related to bad behavior, you are going to create two short conversations, okay? Using the sentences that you have written. One short conversation using uh, good behavior and the other one expressing bad behavior, yeah? Is it clear? Is that clear, class? Está clara la instrucción? Hola. Uh, yes, uh, teacher, mm -hmm. uh, are three examples for group or, or are no, three examples for group? No, per group, per group. Ah, uh, for no, group. Per group, per group. Uh -huh. You are going to work as a team. Van a trabajar en equipos. Y como equipo van a generar las seis oraciones. Tres que representan yes. good behavior at work and three that represent bad that behavior, behavior at work. Luego van a construir dos conversaciones cortitas parecidas a esta, comentando sobre alguien que eh, you know, tiene esa, esa mala conducta en el trabajo y que tiene la buena conducta en el trabajo, ¿sí? ¿Ok? Two for uh, good behavior y, and two bad behavior. No, usted va a ustedes van a escribir por equipo primero las tres oraciones yes, yes. y tres oraciones. Luego van a crear dos conversaciones cortas. Una afirmativa y la otra negativa. Sí, solo okay. dos conversaciones cortitas. Ok. I understand, teacher. Ok, and later you are, going, you are going to present your conversations to the class. So you practice. Ok, here we go. I'm going okay. to uh, ask you to go to the breakout rooms, okay? Here we go. And when you come back, I'm going to take your attendance. And okay. here, 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 let me see. Okay, hold it. Four, three, okay. Here we go. At this moment, I'm going to share with you the invitation. Join your groups, please. Go to your groups and let's start working on the feedback. Hello, group. In this uh, team, we have uh, Miguel Angel, we have Virginia, Maria Isabel, and Elizabeth Johanna. 
okay? The four of you. Okay. Let's begin with the sentences, writing the sentences. Hola. Okay, in this group we have Carlos Ernesto, we have Gatteri, and we have Freddy Celiceo. I don't know if they are going to be able to participate. No van a participar, chicos. Okay. So, Evelyn, I'm going to assign you to another group, okay? Evelyn, la voy a enviar a otro equipo. Okay, teacher. Sí, porque si ellos no pueden participar, no, no, no va a poder trabajar solita, okay? I'm going to send you the invitation right now. En el trabajo. Okay. En la empresa. Uh -huh. Okay, listen. Perfecto. I saw that Rudy was going to be here. He was asking. Okay. Se, se le cayó la conexión a Rudy. Porque él iba a estar acá con usted. Ah, okay. Sorry. Continue, please. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, vamos entonces para que hagamos lo de las. Hacemos las primeras, las buenas, good behavior. Yes. Sí. Ok. Um, vamos a ver, ¿cómo las empezamos? Mm. Mm. Podemos hablar hasta del jefe. <laughs> you said positive, so there is no problem. Sí. I, yes, positive. Yes, positive. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm. Es que es más fácil hacer las negativas. <laughs> Qué, qué pena. No, pero consideren las que las que trabajaron ayer. Ajá, es que ayer trabajamos, pero es que ayer trabajamos las, las negativas. No, también positivas o no. No. Yes. No. Yes. No, vale. Sí, también positivas. Ah, ask for, ajá, es cierto. Mm. Como que ask for please respect about all. Mm -hmm. eh, Dressing code. Mm -hmm. Ah, fue donde Leti usted dijo que eh, to not transfer the work to a partner. Que no transfiere la carga laboral hacia otro compañero. Sí. I shouldn't. So that is negative. Eh, no es mi caso, pero sí suele suceder en algunos. <laughs> ok. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, in, some, in many cases. Mm -hmm. That is why in the day before yesterday conversation, do you remember that? Uh, do you ask for help to your co-workers? How often da, do your co-workers ask you for help? ¿Con qué frecuencia le pides tú ayuda a tus compañeros de trabajo? ¿Y con qué frecuencia te piden ellos a ti? Ayuda. ¿Se recuerdan que eso ya lo trabajamos también? Sí. Ya, yeah. ok. Teacher, y eh, we should, vamos a iniciar las frases utilizando should. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Or, okay. Yes. Ok. Vaya. Okay. An affirmative could be probably you should greet uh, your co-workers. <laughs> Debes... Okay. Eh, Saludar a tus compañeros de trabajo. Yeah. For example, if we decide ask for please, can be you should ask for for please. No, Maybe. you no. should ask. No, you should ask. Uh, using you should ask uh, for help using the word please. Ah, okay. You should ask 
uh -huh, for help using the word please. Okay. Debes pedir ayuda usando la palabra por sí, favor, sí. porque si no, no suena muy amable. Suena como que le está diciendo haz esto. It is different when I say print this paper or please print these papers. Yes? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. that's right. Correcto, así o... es. No, sí. tres y tres, porque así lo pide el manual. ¿Verdad? Acá okay. que... Y dos conversaciones, una... Sí, pero son positiva. conversaciones cortitas así como esta, ¿verdad? Mm. You use your imagination with the name. For example, uh, you should say, when uh, Elizabeth, when Elizabeth, when Elizabeth gets to work, when Elizabeth gets to work, she should greet the co-workers. Cuando Elizabeth llega al trabajo, debería saludar. Yes, she should greet everybody. Le dice la otra persona y así. La conversación de cortita, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Pero una va a ser eh, usando un good behavior and the other one using bad behavior, ¿ya? Yeah? Should and shouldn't. Cuando should y la las otra. Ok, y las oraciones tienen que ser usando el should. Igual sí. que la conversación. Ah, correcto. Okay. Okay. Acá solo oyentes. Ok. Uh -huh. sure. You should ese verbo in present positive va base form. That's correct. Sí, correct. Yes. Okay. We should use um o cómo sería ahí cumplir el código de vestimenta o o aplicar, ¿cómo sería? ¿Cómo lo puso usted? ¿Qué verbo usó esta Correcto. flor? Ella me dijo, there is a dressing code. Porque yo había, yo había puesto el verbo has o how, pero uh -huh. me lo corrigió. In my company, there, there is a dressing code. Ah, hay un, un código de vestimenta. Ah, pero como dijo que ahí lo íbamos a cambiar, como que nosotros deberíamos cumplir el código de vestimenta. Ajá, uh -huh. we should... Eh, o respetarlo. Ah, también. Ajá, está más fácil esa. Uh -huh. Respect. Pero no y... sé si se utiliza. Vamos a ver. Respect, respect. Sí, yo creo que sí, sí es así. Algo así como literal. We should respect dress in code. Dress, solo sería dress code. Y ahí ya no le pone el ING. Dress code. Ajá, correcto. Es algo así como debemos de respetar el código de vestimenta. Uh -huh. We should respect the dress code. ¿Qué otro tienen para hacer la otra positiva? 
Podríamos decir algo así que, pero es que tal vez muy larga, porque para nosotros dijéramos, donde yo trabajo es importante sonreír y, y saludar al cliente cuando llegue. O también tenemos un, un código cuando nos llaman. Un to saludo. Be, to, be kind, nosotros deberíamos... to be kind with the customers. Ah, we, should, we, we should be kind with the customers. Exacto, we should be kind. We should be, be kind. kind, be kind, amables. We should be kind with the customers. Be, be del be. verbo to be. We should be kind. We should be kind. 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 Yes. Kind, no. amable. K-I-N-D. Kind. With the customers. No, le quiero ver, no entiendo cómo se. A ver por aquí. Yes, Isabel, are you there? Ay, no más está de oyente. Ya uh -huh. llegué, llegué en mi casa. <laughs> okay. Yo tengo. Ay, eh, a... No, yes. que es horrible el tráfico hoy. No sé qué pasa, qué están regalando en las calles, no lo sé. I have one example. Mm, uh, you say something. Uh, me, ¿Me escuchan bien ustedes, sí? Sí, sí Miguel, ¿le podemos escuchar? Ok, tengo una. Sí, eh, gracias. Ok, eh, I have eh, one. Eh, What say my partner does doesn't say thank you when they receives something. Y luego es he should always say thank you. Mi compañero no dice gracias cuando recibe algo. Yes, Él yes. debería decir gracias siempre. Mm -hmm. That is a short conversation. Yes. Okay, excellent. No sé si lograron, lo que pasa es que no me pude unir de la computadora, no porque se lo pasara al grupo. Mm -hmm. Yo ahorita estoy igual intentando meterme de la compu, pero no okay, me da. Ok, so, uh, say it again, I'm going to write it for you, Miguel. Yes, my partner. Ok, this That's... is A, ok, because this is a short conversation. My partner. Doesn't say doesn't say thank you when he receives something when he receives something something this okay this yes. is a, a comment yeah and then this yes. is for the short conversation and yes. then the other uh, partner says letter b says okay he showed He, always say thank you. He should always say thank you. Okay, yes. and that is a short conversation. Very well. That is the idea. Teacher, yes. Yo creo que ya entendí lo que están haciendo. Okay. Quiero decir el de las oraciones. Miguel should get to work early. Sería una oración. Okay. Yes. It is, no, it is a sentence. Okay. Es una oración, pero es un comentario que usted está haciendo acerca de Miguel. Ok, ok. Entonces usted dice, allí de ahí generamos la conversación. Ok. okay. Because, repeat. Eh, Miguel should get to work early. Miguel should, should. get to should. work early. Mm -hmm. And then the other partner tells you, yes, he should get, get up earlier. 
Sí, él sí. debería levantarse sí. más temprano. Because sí, if you sí. don't get up earlier, yeah, there is a <laughs> consequence. Those, listen, those 10 minutes have a huge consequence. Esos 10 minutos que te quedas en la cama tienen una enorme consecuencia. Five minutes, ya. Yeah? Ok. Y ahí ya tienen las dos conversaciones cortitas, ¿sí? Ok. Ok. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Ok, my pleasure. So, let's see. To the other one. Teacher, las oraciones que vamos a hacer se, este, deben de ser relacionadas con el lugar donde trabajamos o cualquier. Es de trabajo, de trabajo. Ok. Ok. Ya, dale una amiga. Ok, girls, are you ready? Yes. No, uh, oh, just, no. Las dos no. conversacioncitas cortas. Si solo son comentarios, no es conversación larga. Por Ni eso. hemos terminado la, la sexta. Sí, but time. Ok, if I say Julio César, should activate his microphone and camera. Ok. ¿Y ¿Qué me contestarían ustedes? When I say Julio César, should activate his microphone and camera. ¿Y qué me dirían ustedes? Yes, that's correct, should. that's right. Uh -huh. okay, uh -huh. That's correct, he should be more active more participative, y esa so, ya es la conversación. La conversación. ¿sí? Vaya, sí, así de fácil. Ok, in one minute we get started, ok? We get back. Ok. okay. okay. Maya, we should we not should. eat in front of customers. The uh -huh. customers. Yes. Of customer or the customer? Customers in, in English. When you, say, when you say, listen, when you say in general, of customers, de los clientes en general. Oh, okay. Of customers, okay. Of customers, yeah. And the last one. ¿Qué otro tenían? She, por ejemplo, hagamos una con she. She should not. ¿Qué otra cosa tenían ustedes? Eh, usar el celular. El compañero debería reportar eh, los problemas de producto a tiempo. Ajá, pero acá sí se puede. Is, is correct. De, eh, pero tendríamos como tener el comentario eh, anterior como eh, he, my partner eh, always eh, report que llega tarde y por eso no no, no, no es que esa la, he, esa la he puesto como las oraciones que tenemos que hacer porque tenemos que hacer tres positivas y tres negativas entonces la que usted me está diciendo eso ya es como para entrar en una pequeña conversación pero es que la conversación, el inicio de la conversación no necesariamente tiene que llevar el sur no, pero eso es lo que le digo vaya, las dos conversaciones ya las hicimos entonces ahora nos faltan las tres oraciones positivas y tres negativas ¿Me entiendes? No sé. Porque la que usted hizo y la que hizo Isabel, esas serían las conversaciones, las pequeñas conversaciones. Y la que envió Elizabeth y la que le he enviado yo a Chat serían las oraciones positivas. O sea, nos faltaría una, pos una positiva y tres negativas. Como me queda y se las envío, a ver si les parece bien. Sí, está bien. Sí, lo, eso, eh, lo único que yo recuerdo, yo recuerdo que la teacher había dicho que solamente eran dos oraciones cortas. Y los otros solamente son ejemplos de good behavior y bad behavior. No, y, no. Tres ejemplos, acá está la instrucción, mire. Escribe sí, tres ejemplos de good behavior y bad behavior in business meetings. Tres uh -huh. y tres, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Good behavior. Okay. 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 Pero de okay. las oraciones que han mencionado en las conversaciones, 
ahí ya tienen dos oraciones. Si una es afirmativa y la otra es negativa, no hay problema. Las ponen en la lista de sus oraciones. Porque se supone que primero tenían que generar las, las oraciones y de ahí tomar las ideas para crear las conversacioncitas, ¿sí? Ok. Ok. Sí. Eh, Teacher, solo una conversación, just one conversation. Two. <risa> Dos, pero si es que de las mismas oraciones las toma. Ah, ah sí. Vaya, <risa> léame, una, léame una oración. He should not smoke in the building. Ok. So, here we have. You say, he should not smoke in, in the, building. the building. Yes. Then, the other person tells you. Yes. He shouldn't. Because okay. it is unacceptable in this company, for example. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you have the short conversation. Y ahí ya tiene la conversación corta. ¿Sí? Tenemos otra. Julio should yes. be on time at the class. Agree. He should be at the, at the start of the class. Yes, okay. okay. That's okay. it, and that's the and then you have the two conversations. Yes, Bye. we finish. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, you see, I told you easy. <laughs> okay, get ready. Okay. Oh, podríamos poner Evelyn no debe retrasarse. No debería retrasar su reporte. los reportes. Ajá. Sí. sí, me parece bien. Negativas. Negativas. Evelyn should not. Evelyn should not. Do the report. No. Porque, 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 okay, ready class to get back to the main session room? Yes. Almost hecho. Sí, porque ya tienen 40 minutos casi en eso. Sí. <laughs> I didn't listen to you, Miss Maria Isabel. If you activate the microphone, maybe. Me digo, acabo de entrar, teacher, no tengo 40 minutos. No, pero esto es repaso de lo que estuvimos haciendo ayer. Todavía estamos en el feedback. Ay, oh, yeah, pues sí estaba perdida yo. Tanto Evelyn estoy... should not be late with the reports. Okay. Yes, she should be on time. Okay. I... Eh, on, be on time at the class floor. No, no te lo último, fíjese. Ok. El, la respuesta. Agree. Era agree. Agree. Uh -huh, con el signito. He should. Se lo voy a pasar ahí. He should be at the start of de clase. Ahí se lo mandé. Okay. 
he should be at the start of class. Vaya. He should Okay. He should be at yes. the start of the class. Vaya, hoy inicia usted, Flor, y yo le contesto. Pero esa no la notaron, vea, en el chat. Era Julio should be on time at the class. Ay, se me quedó congelado esto. Ah, sí, ya la vi. <risa> Julio should be on time on class. Agree, he should be at the start of the class. And vaya, Julio, hagamos la otra. He should not smoke in the building. Eh, esa no la, no la copié. Ay, qué barbaridad. Qué cosas. Ahorita. ¿Fue la, la que escribió la teacher? No. No, esa no. Eh, yeah, ok. Yes. He should not. Eh, ay, ¿Qué hice? Yes, he should not. Um, because is an unacceptable on the va a ok hoy sí la respondo dele yes he had, yes he shall not smoke because in an acceptable day hour on the company. Yes, he should not smoke because it's an acceptable behavior on the company. Okay? Okay. Vaya, hoy usted inicia. Um, Le voy a poner con Flor. Está bien. <laughs> <laughs> Flor. So be in the class on time. Agree. She should be at the start of the class. Hoy hagamos la otra conversación. Inicie usted también. La... Good evening, everyone. Oh, now you are okay, available. Okay, good. We are glad that you are safe now. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for joining and participate actively. Right now, I need you to activate your cameras because I'm going to call your names in order to take the first attendance because you have been working for a long time in the breakout rooms, creating the sentences and the short conversations, okay? As part of the feedback of what we did yesterday. All the people should be back here, okay. So I'm going to call your names. Andrea, Andrea Lisbeth is absent, right? At the moment, Carlos is here. Hello, Carlos. Present. Thank you. Hello, hello, how are you? Okay, Elizabeth Johanna is here or is absent? Let's see. Evelyn? Present. Flor, Flor Morena? Present. Thank you, Miss Flor. 
Freddy's, is Freddy's here or absent? Hazel? Here. Thank you. Julio? Present. Catherine? Absent. Present. Maria Isabel? Present. Maria Leticia, Leti? Present teacher. Marvin is here or absent? Adiante. Mateo is absent, right? Miguel Angel? Present teacher. Okay, now you're here. Natalia? Stephanie? Absent. Rafael Alejandro? Rafael is absent today. Rudy? Here. Present. Virginia? Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy is absent and Wilbur is absent today. Okay, so let's get ready and let's listen to your short conversations, okay? Let's start with team number one. In team number one, uh, we have uh, Elizabeth, Johanna, Evelyn, Rudy, and Virginia. Yes? So please. Can we take class? You are going to participate. Okay. ¿Quiénes van a participar? ¿Quiénes van a participar? Mi teacher. Ok. Y Elizabeth. No sé si está. Isabel, ¿qué digo? Isabel. Bueno, lo que la que estamos haciendo. La conversación corta. Entonces empiezo, empiezo yo con la, con la conversación que usted dijo. ¿Sabe? Miguel. Miguel should get to work early. Yes, he should get up early. Okay. And the other is my partner doesn't say thank you when he deserves some time. No, no escuché lo último, no le escuché lo último. Okay. Again, Evelyn, Evelyn, repítala porque no le escuchó. Ok. My partner doesn't say thanks when he receives some time. When he receives something. My partner doesn't say thank you when he received something. Okay. Isabel, answer please. Okay. He should say thank you. He should say thank you. Thank you, Evelyn. Now in the other team. Okay. Hazel. Uh, Flor, Julio, Leti, yes? Yes. Okay, let's begin, guys. Leti. Where is Leti? Los, she lost the connectivity. Let me check in the chat. Okay. Oh, so, she says that her her screen is black. Okay, so Julio, where is Julio? Yes. Ah, bye. Ah. Vamos, Julio. <laughs> inicio yo o inicio usted la primera conversación. Yo. Vaya, dele. 
la voy a decir con Flor. Ya okay. que no está. <ríe> okay. Flor should be in the class on time. Agree, she should be at the start of the class. Okay. Eh. Flor, is, Flor is here, but she has the <ríe> camera off. Pero tiene la cámara apagada porque tiene problemas con, con el internet. So she's here and she thought that she was going to practice the conversation with you, Julio. Y ella creyó que iba a practicar la conversación con ella. Shame on you, Julio. Shame on you. Okay, the next, the next conversation. Okay. Um, y la segunda sería she shall not smoke in the bowling. Bowling. Yes. He should not, yes, he should not, because it's an acceptable behavior on the company. Okay, building. Julio, repeat after me, building. Building. Excellent, very well. Okay, <laughs> class, that was part of the feedback of what we did yesterday. And now we continue, and as I told you, class, today we're going to be talking about emails. But here we have the speaking time. Okay, do you send emails every day? Should emails be brief or long in your opinion? And can you mention three tips to write effective emails? These are the three questions we, you are going to be practicing oral. You don't have to write a thing, okay? No tiene que escribir nada. Only answering these questions and I'm going to share them with you. Mm -hmm via WhatsApp right now. Let me see here. Okay, yes, this is your group. Okay. Okay, class. Now you have to give your opinion when you answer this, uh, those three questions, okay? And you are very familiar to those. So here we go. Hold it here. Go to your groups, please. Join your groups and begin working. Ah, Matthew is coming, Mateo. Okay, Mateo, go to group. I'm going to send you the invitation, Mateo. Hello, Mateo, good evening. Do you listen to me? Mateo. Okay, go to your groups. Carlos, did you receive the invitation? Carlos, I see you like if you are frozen. Okay, Evelyn, go to your group. Rudy, are you having problems with your connectivity? Mateo, do you listen to me? Mateo, me escucha, Mateo. Mateo, le envié la invitación. Ok. Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Mm. We shall not use emojis, for example. ¿Cómo se dice abreviar? 
Sí, ¿verdad? Sería como una forma de hacerlos más. Yo opino ¿Qué? que los correos deben de ser cortos porque como son de como para carácter informativo. Eh, no creo Dicho. que a una empresa le pueden enviar un correo de una página y, y o sea tiene que ser breve. Hola, buenos días. Este, por este Should medio. be brief. Exacto. Brief. So that's uh, another example to effective emails when you say the the salutation. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good day. Como decimos en el buen salvadoreño, a ir directo al grano. Directo. Un saludo específicamente para quién va. Y ya se va ya directamente al contenido que se desea. Ok. En inglés. Ser como concretos. English. 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 <risa> Ahí donde dice ton. La Ajá. coma o diere, si no sé cómo se llama. Va entre la N y la T. Y la última T ah. no llevaría. Ah, very good. Entonces, eh, después de la N va el apóstol. Ah, Ok, muy bien, se lo voy a mandar para, para que me corrí. Porque, Ajá, sí, así. Eh, digamos que estamos, <ríe> estamos viendo, teacher, eh, record, as, short answer in the first question. Do you think email are relay? Um, yes, I do in my case. In the case of the Evelyn, is no, I don't. Uh -huh. Okay, and the uh, Julio Cesar uh, will be help me reading the this second question, please. Okay. Um, uh, shall emails be bright or long? Okay. Brief, uh, brief or long? Brief, brief or long? Breve or long? Breve or long? Okay. Eh, ¿Se entiende en español, estimados? ¿Qué, sí, qué dice yo. la pregunta? Los correos mm. electrónicos deben ser breves o largos. Largos. What do you think about this question? A ver, normalmente. Normalmente yo siempre breves. ¿Perdón? Normalmente cuando, cuando yo los mando son, son breves. They are brief. Ah. Brief. Brief. Okay. Brief. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. In, in my case too. Brief. Uh, because uh, we need to send in the, the, the message only. Um, write uh, the necessary message yes mm -hmm. uh, elizabeth está oyente, ¿no? okay, virginia qué sí, piensa sí. usted virginia <laughs> hello hola 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 Leti is in this group. She, she, Leticia, Maria Leticia is back with her connectivity. So she's going to be working in this team. Okay. Okay. Okay, no problem. Uh, Maria Leticia, are you there? Hello, hello. Uh, well, okay. Um, ya llegué. Ay. Ok, yes. <risa> Venga. Me faltaba andar okay. varios clics todavía. <risa> ok, ok. Your screen is very green, but... Ay, con eso más. <risa> <risa> ok, eh, María Leticia, eh, could you read in the three uh, question, please? Uh, la, de las anteriores. And can you mention 
for example. Estamos en esta actividad, oh. Leti, porque usted perdió la conexión cuando estábamos sí. en las conversaciones. Sí. Okay, ah, entonces, acá okay. okay. it is speaking time. Uh, you have to answer, okay, in your reality, in your opinion. Do you send emails every day? Should emails be brief or long? Brief or long? What do you think? And after that, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Okay. Okay. This slide is in your WhatsApp, okay? Yes. Okay. Teacher, uh, I think about the, the third question. Uh, for me, it's, it's uh, be consistent uh, for to write message. And write a, a simple things. Okay. Uh, how about you, Julio? What do you think of? Excuse me. Uh, no, yeah. those are your tips. Now, Julio, in letter C, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Um, number one, I'll go it. Uh, a pair. And please ask. Solamente puse, solo dije las tres, las tres palabras. No sé si me entendió. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. Y number three, say. Say it again. Teacher. Yes. Uh, how many sense watch your tongue when I write in effective email? What do you say? Uh, watch your tongue. Is watch your tone. Uh, tone. Make sense. Yeah, your tone. Your your tone. Yeah, T O N E tone. It's like it's like. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. T T O N E. Okay. Uh, appropriate. Uh, make make sense. Yes. Appropriate appropriate <clears throat> language. Appropriate language. Okay, okay. Okay, but it is the time for you to speak, not for the teacher. Continue, please. Okay. Um. Did you already answer the three questions, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay, Maria Isabel, Hazel, Rudy, yeah, Flor, and uh, Matthew. Did Matthew participate? Mm -mm. And Miguel, yes. Yes, Miguel. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. So let's return to the main session room and we are going to share, okay? Thank you. Okay, nos vemos allá. See you in the main session. Get ready with your tips, okay? Because we are going to share. There is still one team working very hard, but they are going to be here in five seconds.
Okay, class, here we go. So we are open to listen to your tips in order to write an effective email. So the questions are, here we go, okay. The questions are, do you send emails every day, class? Yes, I do or no, I don't. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Because it is uh, one of our working tools, yes? Actually, we have internet and intranet, yeah? Should what do you think, class? Emails should be brief or long? Brief or long? Uh, brief. 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 Yeah. Brief. brief. Brief and concise, yes? Now, this is for you to participate, okay? Maybe some of you have the same ideas, but expressed in different ways. Okay, it is time for you to share. <clears throat> three tips to write effective emails. Okay, can you name three tips in order to write effective emails? We are all ears. Who is going to share? Watch, watch your tone. Okay, watch your tone. Another one? Uh, it could be maybe avoid too many emojis. Okay, avoid emojis. Emojis, yes. Yes, excellent, very well. Another participant with other ideas? Hello. Use an automatic, automatic personal file. Okay, very well. Automatic personal file. Excellent. Another tip from someone else? Otro tip que alguien más quiera compartir? I don't understand previous uh, tips of the Hazel. Hazel, explain deeply your tip to oh Carla. <laughs> <laughs> Automatic okay. personal sign. So that means when you write the email, you have the uh, automatic sign. Ah. Sign or signature? Yeah, so. signature, like signature, like signature, like that. Signature, sign. Yeah, yeah. But that yeah. was the idea. But that was the spirit. But the, yes. <laughs> but the signature is uh, like a picture or like a... Uh, digital, a digital one. Digital. Uh, Just your digital, name yes. and, and... Digital signature. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Hazel, for explaining. Calm down, take, take it okay. easy. Take it easy. <laughs> calm down, calm down. Just think. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, uh, someone you, else who would like to share one more tip? Maybe Leti, Isabel, Julio, Matthew, Flor, Miguel, Virginia? No. Okay, let's continue with the class then. Thank you, class, for your participation. This was the golden touch for the uh, previous topic. And now here you have the questions that you were asking and answering in the breakout rooms. Now, class, here we are working exactly uh, at page 33, yes? And then we have in here, Check which tips for writing uh, emails do you follow? Okay, you have to, from this list, you have to pick the ones that you use when you write uh, formal emails. Okay, let's do it individually right now. And later we're going to compare here because this is necessary in order to go over the next step of the class. Okay, one minute.
Remember, class, when you finish, you let me know, okay? So we can discuss. I'm finished. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, one more minute, class. Down, teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys, here we go. What do you think? Which tips for writing for my emails do you follow? Okay, do not use capital, all capitals, yes or no? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, so we follow it. No escribir todo en mayúsculas, ¿sí? Lo seguimos, ¿verdad? Okay, okay. 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 Yeah. avoid using the subject important. Ok, subject es el asunto. In así no, my así no. case, mm -hmm. we should because is para decirle a la gente que ya. <laughs> ¿Qué qué? It's like a it's like a code, and we should when we need uh, it's quickly the answer. Okay, okay, very okay. quickly. Okay. Hurry up. It is like urgent. Urgent, yes? Yeah. yes, but only urgent. in your company. Otherwise, it is uh, not acceptable because everything is important. Okay. It is important. It is important the computer. It is important the internet. It is important the electricity. Yes, it is important water. It is important the air. Everything is important. So that is why avoid using the subject important is a tip porque todo es importante excepto en el trabajo de la compañera verdad que ahí ya es un código <laughs> ya yeah. oh, okay. ok ok use yeah. formal salutation yes yes, yes. be brief yes yes, yes. express <clears throat> clearly why you are writing yes 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 ah, yes, yes. Uy. Uh, do not use abbreviations. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Okay. Do not use smileys. A smileys is what you what we call emojis. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because it is formal. Imagine, uh, Miss Hazel using smileys in her <gasps> important no. in her important <laughs> emails no that is unacceptable no. yeah okay that is un so, unacceptable unacceptable so all of them okay and now here we have a pair work we have practice this conversation with a partner take turns talking about the tips you check in exercise two do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. 
could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Uh, do not use smileys. Do not use abbrevi abbreviations. Express clearly why you are writing and then you continue the conversation, right? So uh, remember that first you read it as it is and later you switch roles. But the idea here is uh, take turns talking about the tips we checked over here in exercise number two. Okay, so right now I need two volunteers in order to practice this conversation. And me, teacher. To, okay, Carlos. Me, teacher. Okay, Carlos is A, and who is the other boy? Miguel. Okay, Miguel, you are B, you are Luis. Let's begin, Carlos. Okay, uh, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use a abbreviation in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective email? Yeah, sure. Okay, now switch. Okay. You begin, Miguel. Okay. Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate uh, to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share uh, more tips to write, write effective uh, emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you so much. Remember class that here when we read could, we don't pronounce the letter L, okay? Could, and forget about letter O, could. Could, could you could. share more tips? Yeah, and here could. appropriate as it is, tal cual como está, appropriate, appropriate, appropriate. Appropriate. Yeah. Appropriate. Appropriate. Abbreviations. Appropriate. Abbreviations, abbreviations. Okay, okay, thank you. Miss Hazel? Hazel, yes. where are you? Okay, you are Amanda and I am Luis. Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate? Appropriate. Mm -hmm. To use abbreviations in the business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Uh, you have to express clearly, uh, to express clearly why you are writing. You, uh, the email must be brief and you have to use a formal salutation. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. I and mean, that's it. Okay, that is the idea that you continue the conversation using these tips. Now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout room so, so you can practice. Okay, here we go. Everybody must participate in the conversation. And remember to switch roles. Okay. There you are, go to your groups. I sent you the invitation, join your groups, everybody participating actively. Matthew, Mateo, I need you in your group. Mama. Okay. Hola. Hola, teacher. Y aquí no tiene participantes. Okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to transfer you to another group then, okay? Because you need to practice. Thank you, Okay, Isabel. Do you have some emails? 
Just ah, okay, Isabel. I'm going to send you the invitation right now, okay? Hello, class. Hello, hello. Everything okay here? Bye. Yes, okay, uh, okay Flor. Yes. Uh, you are Amanda, yes, please. Abbreviation in business email. Business emails. No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more things to write effect email? Yeah, sure. Evelyn. Y ahí menciona, okay. pero Virginia, ahí usted tenía que mencionar cuáles eran los tips, ¿verdad? Porque le preguntaron, ¿puedes compartir eh, o puedes mencionar más tips para escribir? Y entonces ahí usted tiene que agregar algunos de estos tips, ¿sí? Que aparecen acá en el ejercicio 2. Oh. Ok. En cuando se dice I see. Could you share? More no. Tips? Ajá, esa es su última participación. Ahí usted le está pidiendo a ella que comparta más tips. Sí. Oh. Entonces al final, cuando ella le dice, yeah, sure. Acá. Oh. Sí, sí. Aquí es la persona que dice, yeah, sure. Tiene que uh -huh. mencionarle dos o tres tips de estos, ¿sí? Oh, ok, ok. Ok. Ese, bueno, creo que no lo habíamos comprendido así, pero... <risa> ok, pero sí. Ok, ok. Right. okay. Eh, con Evelyn. Uh, don't use all capitals. Thank you, Miguel. <risa> You're welcome. Uh, okay. Right. I start <laughs> me. <laughs> do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is an appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. And the other example, be brief, use a formal salutation, do not use abbreviation. Okay, thank you, Isabel. Ahora, en en julio. Ya. Ya, ya, pero We sí. practice. Ya participaron. It, it, yes. Uh, yes. And did you switch roles? Yes. 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 Okay, so it is time to return then. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because it is a short conversation. Yeah. And yes. you have to write emails. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's get back. Okay, class, this is the conversation, the short conversation you were practicing in the breakout rooms. And in the last step, when Luis answers, yeah, sure, you were supposed to name, name or mention two or three of these tips in order to write an effective email, correct? But now here, okay, I think that almost everybody's done. Let me check. Ah, we have still one team that is still working, but in three seconds, they will be back. Okay, I think everybody's done. Evelyn, are you here? Yeah, she's here. Okay, 
Now let's continue with the next step class. And here we go. What are we going to be doing right now? Here we have steps to write a formal email. Let's read the tips to write a formal email and classify the emails below as formal or informal. For the informal emails, discuss what tips will be useful to make them more formal, okay? So here we have 10. We have 10 steps. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Miss Isabel, no, Miss um, Hazel, please read from one to five. Hazel, are you okay. here? Okay. Yes, I'm here. Fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important. Okay. Two, include a polite salutation. A.G., dear mister, dear missus, good morning, etc. Et Three, write your main point in the opening sentence. Four, don't use a capital or all lowercase letters. And five, avoid abbreviations, A.G., please. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Now I'm going to ask Miss um, Letty. Are you here, Letty? Leticia, are you here, Maria Leticia? Okay, she's not. Letty is not here. Then I'm going to ask, let me see. Miguel, are you here? Miguel. Miguel Angel, I don't listen to you and your microphone seems to be open, but we don't listen to you. Pero no le escuchamos, Miguel. Okay, so I'm going to ask. Uh, <laughs> okay, we are so sorry for that inconvenience too. Isabel, okay, read from number six to number 10. The microphone, Isa. Okay. Remember, see, be kind of remember to write, please, and thank you. Uh, be brief with your message into long considering using an attachment. Use a closing version, version like this. Regard, regard, regard to your comments, it is, etc. And a signature block with Prepared contact information, your name, business, uh, your name, uh, business address, and phone number. Edit and provide it before you send the email. Message. 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 Okay. Message. Number one, fill in the subject line with the topic relevant to your recipient. The recipient is the person who is going to read. Yeah, the mail, the receiver, in other words, the recipient, and not just document or important, because as I told you, everything is important in life. Include a polite salutation, for example, dear Mr. Dear Mrs. Good morning, good evening, yeah, etc. Write your main point in the opening sentence in la oración inicial, write your main point. Don't use all capital letters or all lowercase, small letters, no. Avoid abbreviations, for example, this one, for please, you know that it, it is informal, right? Be polite, remember, to write please, thank you. Be brief, 
if your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Use closing phrase like best regards, regards, looking forward to your comments, etc. Add a signature block with appropriate contact information, your name, business address, and phone number. Edit and proofread before you send the message. Hay que editarlo y leerlo de nuevo antes de enviarlo. And also, I would add, make sure that your recipient is the appropriate one. Asegurarnos que el destinatario es el indicado. Because class, tell me, how many times in your... Hey, Rafa, hello. How many times have you sent hello, teacher. email to the, to the wrong recipient? ¿Cuántas veces han enviado algún correo al destinatario equivocado? And then, oh my God, pues sí, pero profesionales, menos mal, ¿verdad? Porque si era otro making comments, like the ones in should, shouldn't, oh my God, y se lo enviaron a la persona en cuestión, so what a shame, shame on you. Okay, now class, you are going to do the following here, okay? The instructions are this, letter A. In the breakout rooms, you are going to read the tips to write a formal email and you are going to classify the two emails that are here. You decide if it is according to the structure, formal or informal. When you finish classifying that, okay, for the informal emails, you are going to discuss what tips from these ones will be useful to make them more formal. Yes? Entonces, ustedes al que consideran como informal, mmm, para convertirlo en formal, tendrían que, okay? Use tip one, two, three, four, five, lo que ustedes consideran necesarios. Is that okay? Yes? It's okay. Okay, okay yes. very well. So I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms right now. And here we go. That is an easy activity. Okay, go to your groups, please. I sent you right now the invitation. Letty, you are back. I sent you the invitation, Letty. Importante. Uh -huh. Ajá, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más? No sé. Eh, creo que firma, ¿a qué onda está firma? No sé si. Signature. Ok, ok. Nine. Ah, uh, that's in a uh, signature. With, uh -huh. with. ¿Verdad? ¿No? Ah, no, ver, no, no. Son, ¿Qué les falta para hacer el formal y el informal? ¿Qué les falta? Ah, ok. Digo yo, no sé si alguien entendió diferente. Ah. That's correct, that's correct, Isabel. Okay. Ya le entiendo mejor, Tiche, ya le entiendo mejor. Eso. <risa> the, the step, step by step, I understand. <risa> Yes. Okay. okay. Remember, we have to be prepared. And everything for the end. 
Number eight, creo que es. Number eight. El primero. Para, así, para despedirse. O sea. Dice, why you remember we have. Remember we have to pay for everything. See you. Ah, but. Uh, Number eight. It's informal because in the last sentence it says, see you. It's using yes. abbreviation. It's true, teacher. You, uh, sí. Yes. Está... It's informal. Really? Sí. Okay. okay. El saludo y el... Perdón. Aunque sea informal, tienen que ir con saludo. Con lo que sí. Yo siempre ah, mando a los de... Claro, <risa> claro. Los de los mismos personal. Hola, buenos días. Recuerden que hay que preparar tal y tal cosa. Uh -huh. Entonces, favor, su ayuda. Y ta, 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 ta. Uh -huh. Aunque sean... Uh -huh. Siempre del mismo, ¿verdad? Pero siempre, Ajá. Este, At, atentamente. atentamente. Bueno. ¿Cómo se dice atentamente, teacher, en inglés? Atentamente no, no existe. Usted escribe no existe. sincerely. Sincerely. Ah. Ajá, o regards, best regards. Best regards. O el, que regards. Me, uh -huh. el que me gustó, teacher, fue looking forward to your comments. Ajá. But it depends, yeah, on the, sí. on the mail. Mm -hmm. yeah, But the most I... common is uh, regards or best regards. Okay, okay, nice. So in your opinion class, these two mails are formal or informal? Um, mm -hmm. Informal. 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 Both of them, both of yes, them. Yes, both of yes. them. Okay. So, Oh, yeah. quería tratar de hablar con, por ejemplo, la en información de contact, en contact information. It is like it, they look more like if they were text messages. Yes. yes. Not yes. emails. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's like a WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Text messages. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, let's return then because we need to go over the next step. Yeah. Teacher, the picture. Yeah. Which picture? No, no. Ah, I was thinking no. about, I was hoy, thinking hoy, about. Hoy no se vio un camión, hoy no, hoy no tomé la foto. Ah. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Thank you for returning. Miss Isabel, get ready with your answers. No, Isabel. Hey, Isabel, at the end of the class, I need you to stay with me, okay? <laughs> We need to talk a lot. Okay, uh, here we go. Let's see, Andrea Lisbeth is absent, correct? Carlos? Carlos, are you present? Here? Okay, thank you. Elizabeth yes, Johanna. Yes. Elizabeth Johanna, she's absent. 
Uh, Evelyn? Well, Evelyn, are you here? Present. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. Flor, here. Flor, Flor. Say hello. Okay. Freddy is absent or here? Freddy Eliseo. The chat. Uh, Hazel? Here. Great. Uh, Julio? Present. Catherine? Absent or here? Absent. Isabel, Maria Isabel, here. Letty, are you here? Yes. Here, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Internet, you're here. <laughs> Martin, here but not. Then we have Matthew, Mateo. Present. Okay, Mateo. Uh, Miguel Angel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Natalia, absent. Rafael is here. Here, yeah. teacher. Thank you. Rudy. Rudy, he lost the connectivity. Virginia. Thank you. Wilbur, absent. Okay, class, get ready and a smile. Say cheese. Ready? One, two. <laughs> Like that, Miss, Miss Isabel. Okay, one, two, three. Hey, Carlos, are Whiskey. you going to wear your, your cap or not? Whiskey, one, two, three. Now, I'm Pons. Hello, hey, your president. <laughs> what the, ah, really? Yes, yes. Me creerá que vengo llegando. Nayek Sarsenio. Nayek Sarsenio. Nayek Sarsenio. Nayek Sarsenio. Thank you. Okay, class. Listen. Let's analyze this situation over here, guys. In the first example, do you consider, class, that this is a formal or informal email? Hello? Is it formal or informal? Informal. <laughs> Informal. Okay. And what about the second one? Is it formal or informal? No. Informal. 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 And yeah. even here, don't forget the documents. Don't should be yes. And here, see you. Here, here they are using abbreviations. And okay, what do they need in order to be more formal? To be formal. Do they need salutation? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. What about the subject? The subject? Okay. Uh, fill in the subject line with a topic relevant. Is this relevant? Saturday? No. Mm -mm. No. Tomorrow's no. meeting? Mm. Mm. No. No. Okay. No. Okay. And they need salutation. And also here, write your main point in the opening sentence. Robert, remember that tomorrow we are uh, having a meeting with the IT. Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget the thing. <laughs> don't forget the documents. Okay. <laughs> and then, are they polite? No, they aren't. No. They are, they are no. used in, okay. They are brief, yes or no? Yes. Uh, yes. Extremely brief. Extreme. Yeah, it's like use a WhatsApp. A text message. Use a closing phrase like best regards, re best regards, regards, or looking forward to your comments. No, right? The signature? No. No. Or not even no. the name of the person. Edit and proofread before you send the message. Okay, that is another tip. So class, right now, here, you have to write a professional email to a coworker. Confirm that you need to meet with him or her tomorrow. Apply the suggestions from exercise five. Como equipo, van, van a producir un email hacia un compañero de trabajo, pero tienen que confirmar que ustedes necesitan, ok, eh, encontrarse con él o con, maña, o con ella mañana. Tiene que aplicar los tips que están acá. From one to ten. Yeah. So, it, and then send your email to a partner or 
to your facilitator, no, pero lo van a eh, presentar acá. ¿Estamos claros? ¿Sí? Yes. Lo van a okay, compartir acá en el main session room. Okay, so right okay. now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Yeah, y necesito que todos participen, ¿verdad? Porque es participación activa la que se requiere. Ok, go to your groups, please. Miguel Ángel. I'm going to send you the invitation, Miguel Ángel. Ok, there you are, Miguel. Join your groups and begin writing as a team one professional email. Ok, como grupo van a producir un email y que luego van a presentar acá. Ok. Ok. Mateo, I need you in your group. And Rafa, did you receive the invitation in team number one? I think it's for one of us. Okay. ¿Qué dicen? Um, I just have a doubt. It, it, it has to be formal or informal? Formal. 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 Okay. Um, because it is to a co-worker. Ah, <laughs> pues no. <laughs> De un compañero, pero en el trabajo. No worker, not partner, o classmate. Ok. Es que a los compañeros se les dice: Mira, mándame eso. Necesito. No, mentira. Informa, only informal messages for the co worker. No. My aliento. Eh, se lo vamos a dirigir, eh, vamos a, estamos saludando a... Dirijámoslo a una a persona, porque es, es como... Eh, pero, dear, no creo que sea... Eh, no, yes, no, pues, está tip, bien tip, así. No, yes, in the tip, yes. yes estimado, yes, estimado, bla, bla, bla. Ah, ok. Dear stands for estimado. Ah, sí, ya, dear, Ajá, mister, o querido, dear, estimado. There, Mr. Is, is, is okay uh, like that, teacher. Their fellow co worker. Uh, because no. it is, you need to use the name of the person. Mr. Julio, póngale. Mr. No, Julio. No, es que uh, Mr. Julio, no. no. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Uh, your last name? Julio. Ah, el, el, el apellido. Dear Mr. Fabian. O Mr. Uh -huh. Fabián Celaya, o si sea, hay dos Fabián. Fabián es apellido, ¿verdad? Last name. Yes. Ok. Dear Mr. Fabián Celaya. Después Dear de la R, you need, necesitan un punto después de la R. Ahí se los está marcando la computadora. Yeah. Ok. This, there Mr. Fabián Celaya. Like that. Mm. Recibo un cordial saludo. Excelente. Excelente. Pero en inglés no sé. Ahorita lo... La puntuación también, ¿verdad? Colon, dos puntos. Okay. Así, la edad. That's correct. Ok. Uh... okay. That is the translation in this case. Esa es la traducción no. en este caso. No, querido. No, estimado. Ok, ok. Nice. There, Mr. Fabian Celari. ¿Cómo se dice dos puntos, teacher? Colon. Colon. Mm -hmm. Colon. 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 Oh. Okay. Um, A cordial greeting and um, best wishes. Are you writing? Receive. Mm. 
Mire, se lo mandé aquí, no sé si estaría bien aquí. Receive a cordial greeting and best wishes. No sé si okay. sería muy... Ah, no. No, 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 no. Aquí me equivoqué. Okay. Eh, el éxito. Sí. Pero es para un compañero de trabajo, dijo, ¿verdad? Sí, exactamente. Ajá. Yo siento con muchas, muchas no. flores, ¿va? Wishes no. Sí. Wishes no. Recibo un cordial saludo ah. y éxito en su... Ajá. Best, only mm. you, you could write probably. Best wishes in your uh, activities. Best wishes in your activities. Ok. Uh -huh. Yo creo que es para un compañero. Ya. Yeah. Sí. Activities. Ok. Best wishes in, in your activities. Okay. Your activities, eh, ¿cuál, ¿cuál era el? el... Era ahorita. Eh, ah, eh, una reunión por... urgente para mañana. Según Necesitamos, el... we need. No, por medio de need... la sería. Algo así, we need to confirm. Uh, pero el asunto, el asunto lo tiene que poner acá. Y la dirección electrónica también. Ah, ok. Uh, uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Por ejemplo, uh, to colon. Uh, eh, Fabián. Unit or your department. Your department, I think it's, it's better. Your department. Result. Uh, no. No. Okay. No, no. Ordenémonos. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Order to discuss the same just, result. Your Should, department. I just have a doubt. Is how to be of your department? I, in order to discuss the same result. I think <clears throat> we miss a particle. Ahí. What Porque no enlazamos resultados con the sales result to your or of your to your I think it's to your or to your uh, to your department to your department uh -huh. coma y lo que pasa es que no tiene que ser cordial. Entonces no le puede decir, nos reuniremos mañana porque se oye bien mandón, so bossy. Maybe we can say, I... Necesitamos una reunión mañana. I propose to you have a meeting. Maybe. I suggest, yeah. maybe, I suggest. Ah, vaya. I suggest. O sea, al final sí, sí es... Si es necesario es que tiene que, pero para que no seas vos y el correo. Polite. Okay. I suggest. Eh, that we can have a meeting. I suggest to meet. Or I suggest a meeting at, and you mentioned the time and the day for discussing or talking about. At 2 p.m. at uh -huh. 2 p.m. of, hasta el lunes porque mañana descansamos. <laughs> uh -huh. On at... Monday, on Monday. Uh -huh. At 2 p.m. Monday. Next Monday, next Monday should be probably. Ah, okay, I mean, next mm -hmm. Monday. Monday, um, well, 70. For the morning. Oh, morning. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. But. Maybe we have to say at 10 p 10 I a m or, or no. Ah, okay. Know. Yes, because and 
went over exactly. Yes, at, because at, Mr. Miguel Santos. At 10 a.m. Yes. Um, what's more? Hay que decir la ubicación en la sala de reuniones, en mi oficina, en su oficina. On... Is on or at, at office, at uh, or at, or, or in, what meeting room, what meeting room. In the meeting room. In the, in the, me in the meeting, meeting room. room. In the meeting room. It uh, is me. Uh -huh, exactly. Me. Meeting, meeting room. Ooh. Okay. In the meeting mm, room. Uh -huh. Now you can say regards. Looking forward to your comments. I think it's better. Looking forward to your comments. You don't think so? No, but it's, it's have to be that and enter and para la despedida. Okay, entonces, uh -huh. punto, punto uh -huh. y aparte. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Looking forward to your comments. Lo que pasa es que en un correo como ese tendríamos que decirle a la par que prepare la presentación, ¿verdad? De los datos. <laughs> Pero lo más el facilito. <laughs> Uh -huh. Looking forward to your comment. Okay, to over here, PS, get ready with the information. Yeah. Uh -huh. With the required information. Sí, yo creo que tiene que llevarlo por el tipo de asunto que estamos colocando. Tenemos que decirle que lleve. Uh -huh. Ahí sería otro enter. And, uh -huh, but, uh -huh. Please, please, uh, please, exactly. please prepare you. The, or oh, make the, a PPT with the make, prepare a PPT. Please prepare. Prepare a PPT. Um, When you finish, save, save the information, please, okay? Save the information. Okay. When you finish. Finished. Hello. Póngale, póngale el nombre y la dirección de la empresa. Póngale, eh, ¿cómo se llama la persona que lo está mandando? No me acuerdo. De, ya, sí, te pongo. Pero... Meeting for tomorrow. Meeting for tomorrow. Here in the subject, meeting for tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, we need to confirm my meeting for tomorrow because it's very important. Dema está demasiado corto. No, ahí estaba bien. We need to confirm a meeting for tomorrow because it's very important to definite, not to define the documentation and detail to legal contract. To define, define, okay, elimineme eh, las últimas letras. Okay, hasta ahí. Okay, to define. Okay. Okay, and that's it. Okay, very good. Regards, acá con capital letter, regards. Forward, uh, no, una de las dos. Regards or looking forward to your comments. ¿Cuál de las dos van a escribir? Like that? No, o escribe regards o escribe looking forward to your comments. Oh, Porque okay. ya están mezclando dos cosas. Okay. With capital okay. letter at the beginning. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And like then the, your name, your name. Okay. 
and that's it. Save it. Take a screenshot and share it with the partners. Yeah. Okay. Pero como es un compañero de trabajo, ya está. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Ya está en la internet. Okay. Okay, let's return. Okay. Time to return. Thank you, Carl. Okay, Carlos, would you mind sharing your screen? Okay, teacher. Okay, so, so here so we no, have, uh, yeah, yes, here we have the production of team number two to fabianarcurasao.com. Uh, scissors, okay, with copy. Start yes. for tomorrow. Dear Mr. Fabian Celaya, best wishes in your activities, in your activities. We need to confirm a meeting for tomorrow because it's very important to define the documentation and detail to legal contract. Looking forward to your comments, Carlos is saying. That's okay. Very well, only the one that I told you. Thank you so much for sharing, Carlos. Now the other team, do we have the other team's uh, mail so we can share? Okay. Uh... Me teacher. Our, okay, please. Our team. Our team uh, is. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me see. Ta -na -na, ta -na -na. Meeting to discuss monthly results. Tu. Not para. Tu, Miguel. Ángel Dart Santos Cortés at comdatagroup.com. Meeting to this is the, the subject, right? Meeting to discuss yes. monthly results. Good morning, dear Mr. Miguel Santos. In order to discuss the sales result to your depart to your department or of your department, para tu department su departamento o de su departamento eh, es de su departamento no of your of your department of your department okay I suggest not subject suggest sugiero suggest ah, okay suggest to meet, eh, to meet Next Monday, 27th at 10 a.m. in the meeting room. Please prepare a presentation with the date of February, February capital letter. Looking forward, no, for what? No, forward. En una sola palabra, forward, pero no what? Forward. Okay. To your comments, comma. Rafael Alejandro, Alejandro. Oh, okay, connect. Excuse me, thank you so much. Very well, excellent. Thank you, class. You worked very hard and we met the objectives for today's class. Listen, I need you to continue working in the platform, the people who are owing me. Las personas que me deben actividades en la plataforma, por favor, pónganse al día. Y los demás pueden continuar trabajando, ¿verdad? Uh, Isabel is going to stay with me for some minutes. So thank you very much. Congrats on your performance today. Have a great weekend. Relax, reload your energy and see you Monday, okay? Have a good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. You. Bye -bye. Good night. Congrats. Good night. Congratulations Bye -bye. on your performance. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye, Julio. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a good night. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Flor. Thank you for joining. Okay, Julio, bye-bye. Okay, Miss Isabel, here we go.
No, you, you <laughs> need to stay here. You must stay here. Okay, I will share. Okay, I think, Isabel, that you don't have any problem with this, uh, with this information regarding to the email, correct? Sí. No tiene problema con, con estos tips, ¿verdad que no? ¿Están claros? No, no, teacher, no, en realidad... Eh... I told you, it is a piece of cake because it is your everyday, ¿ya? Yeah? Activity. It is part of your every your daily routine at work. Okay, so over here, no. So we're going to practice a little bit pronunciation. Is that okay? Sí. Yeah. Okay, you are Amanda and I am Luis. Begin, please. Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business email. No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. You need to be brief to express clearly what you are writing. You don't have to use abbreviations and you don't have to use smileys. Okay, now I am Luis and you are Amanda. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you... <laughs> ah, no, it is the other way around, right? Because you began. So I begin. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Um, the other example, do not use capitals, use formal salutation, be brief, and do not use abbreviation. Okay, very well. And here, you know that we were working with this, right? So let's practice this conversation. Okay, Isabel, uh, I am Claudia and you are Raul. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. She should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages, messages after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That no police either. I agree. We should help him instead. Okay. Now let's switch the roles. I am Raul and you are, um, no, you are Claudia, right? And I am Raul. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. I can believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? him. You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. 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 Okay, here we have the word polite. Either has two pronunciations. Remember, either, either. Yeah. And both are correct. Both are acceptable. Okay, so let's look for the other conversation so we can practice. Ah, but we have this reading. <laughs> ah, okay, miss. Here okay. we go. Uh, we're going to be reading one and one, and later we switch, okay? Mm -hmm. I begin. Last week, I had lunch with Allison, a new member of my network contacts. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did not know each other very well. I set a goal last year. I would have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My first, my first contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. During lunch, I mentioned that he was 
time, not to in the past. She said she worried a lot before going to a large networking event. I think she surprised because she trusted to step, to step. My that feeling I got to know more about here. The industry she works in and about here expects expectations for the for future. The future. Future. I gained more than a new contact. I pass from small talk a smart talk. Here is my advice to you. When you attend business events, do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch, or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you build meaningful connections with people industry. Now here, in this other box, you begin. Okay. When networking. When, when networking with people at a meeting, conference, association meetings, or conventions, Learn to ask interesting information question to get conversation going. Change the standard. What do you do for a living? For a more crea creative question to enrich, enrich the human exchange. Like what inspired you in your job? What are your daily ch challenges? Okay. Repeat after me. Surprised. Surprised. Repeat. Trusted. 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 Her. 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 Future. 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 Gained. Gained. Interesting. Interesting. Enrich. Enrich. Inspires you. Inspires. Inspires you. Inspire, inspires you. Challenges. Challenges. Okay, now you begin reading paragraph one. Okay. Last week I had lunch with Alison, a new member of my network contact. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did not the not not know each other very well. I said I go last year. I would have a one on one networking meeting with a letter five new contacts. This year my fifth contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so reward rewarding. Rewarding that I want to share to Spencer. No, experience. Experience. <laughs> experience. Okay, now here, paragraph three. Okay. Here is my advice. Here is my advice to you. When you let attend business event, do you, do you not just go and discuss business problems and solutions? Try to get to know Last at least, least at least okay at, at least at least three new people by sharing one on one networking coffee lunch or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice. Your example expand 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 your contacts improve your networking skill and your build make a magnetical meaningful, meaningful 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 connections with people in the industry 
In the Excellent. Okay. In the Repeat the after me. At least. At least. Meaningful. Meaningful. Surprised. Surprised. Trusted. Trusted. Her. Her. Future. Future. Gained. Gained. Interesting. Interesting. Enrich. Enrich. Inspires. Inspi inspired. Challenges. Challenges. Okay, very well. So you practice very well reading. It was necessary to practice a little bit reading, right? Okay, Miss, thank you so much. I wish you a great weekend. Relax. Okay, sleep well, sweet dreams, and see you Monday. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye, teacher.